Now, this might come as a surprise to you all, but there is stuff that Steve and I talk about that we do not share with you. Do you know what I'm talking about, Steve? Pretty much every single week, there's a story about something that we just couldn't possibly say on YouTube. What's going on with that, Svenari? For instance, there would, there would be stuff that we... No, no, stop, we... Don't, don't tell that story, Svenari. <laughs> okay, I won't. So there, there are stories that if you tell them publicly, it would break trust, group trust for the people that we help facilitate. And that would be critical for us. But at the same time, I know that when I'm able to talk about that instance with Svenari and talk through what was happening in that group process and what I did, it's really helpful for my reflective practice as a facilitator to kind of move forward. I agree. I, I look upon this as peer mentoring. So you have that, that outlet, you talk with someone who have a, a distance, but still could understand and grasp the, the problem. So I would say it's important if, to have a person like that or persons. And I would say it would be wise that this person has skills in facilitation, for instance. Mm -hmm. But maybe someone who is a little bit distant from your organization, so they can offer a bit of perspective um, and bring a new set of eyes and a new way of thinking to support you in that. So find someone that you can connect with, um, someone who understands what facilitation is about and how it's done in the real world, but maybe someone who's distant from your organization to bring a bit of perspective. and my learning is actually that we all have things that go wrong and stories which may be funny but embarrassing that we can't share but finding someone who we can trust to talk through things really helps me reflect on my practice and improve as a facilitator